Hey, what's going on everyone? Nathan here. So today I'm going to give a tour of my first completed desk setup and all the tech that I have for it. I think it'll be cool to kind of document each year how my desk setup grows over time. And so right now it's nothing glamorous, but this is what I'm working with right now. And I do think it looks pretty clean still. So this right here is my current desk setup. <laughs> So there's probably no better place to start this than with the desk itself. This desk was provided by Syracuse University and it came with this absolutely gorgeous crack right down the middle of it all the way clean through. And it also has a couple chips and dents in it as well. <laughs> That's kind of what I'm working with right now. And this chair right here also provided by Syracuse. Nice little crack down the middle and it has wheels thankfully. That is kind of like the foundation of my desk setup right now. If I could, of course, I would get a much better desk, but this is what I got right now. And all I have is just this sliding drawer right here, but I just keep like writing utensils, my calculator in there. So the current monitor I'm using is this 24 inch Scepter curved display. It's 1080p and runs at 75 Hertz. And it is plenty big for like what I use it for between schoolwork, video editing, things along that nature. And it was actually gifted to me by my little brother when he upgraded from this to a better monitor. And for free, what I got it for, I can't ask for much better than that. And I do really like this display. And so powering this display right behind it is my personal laptop, the Microsoft Surface Book 2. So this has been a great laptop for me. I got the configuration with the i7 processor, 16 gigs of RAM, 256 gigabytes of internal storage. And the reason why I went with this laptop instead of like, let's say a MacBook is because it has its own internal GPU and it's rocking the Nvidia GTX 1050. And so I just figured that this would be great for engineering applications and softwares I'd have to use such as SolidWorks, MATLAB, or AutoCAD. And so the stand that it's sitting in is the Amaton Double Vertical Laptop Stand. I got this last summer and I really just wanted something that could give me the option of docking both my laptop and my iPad in it if I wanted to. And it does work really well for that. If I ever plug my iPad into my monitor, then I can just leave my iPad right there in the front. It's nice and sturdy, made out of aluminum, and I've never had any issues with it like tipping over or it feeling like it's not stable. And it is a great laptop stand. So now moving back over to the front here, my keyboard of choice that I've had for about a year is the Keychron K2 75% RGB mechanical keyboard. It's completely wireless. You could plug it in if you wanted to. And this has been a great first mechanical keyboard for me. It's very tactile if you listen. I have red switches with it and just based off of the research I did, I didn't want something too loud and annoying, but this is definitely more tactile than some other switches you could get. It charges via USB-C and it's very easy to switch between Bluetooth devices as you can just sync it up and then press FN and then one, two, three, however many devices you have. And it's just super seamless to switch through them. And another thing is just like all the RGB lights that you can use with it. You press this little light button right here at the top right, and it has just a bunch of different settings. And I really like just the options that it gives me. Um, whatever I'm in the mood for, it looks way better at night. And I'll definitely add in some B-roll so you can see what it looks like going through them. But overall, it's a great keyboard. I have no complaints with it. And then this right to the side of it is my mouse of choice. This is the Logitech G703 Lightspeed Wireless Mouse. Based off of research I did and price ranges, I went with this one as it had everything I needed being both wireless. I heard good reviews that it was lightweight, comfortable, and I'm happy to say that it is both of those things. The buttons are very tactile, if you can hear that. You can customize the RGB lights on it as well with the software. It's got two side buttons on it one for forward and back. The scrolling wheel is very accurate and has little like stages in it so it just doesn't scroll freely. It will stop, but I like that. It kind of makes it feel a little more accurate when you're using it. And it even has a removable 10 gram weight inside of it. So if you want it to be a little bit lighter, you can do that. I leave it in just so I don't lose it, but this to me seems plenty light anyway. So no problems with that. 
and those right there are my peripherals for my desk setup. Oh, and underneath this is just like a $5 Amazon mouse pad I got. I've had this thing for years. It just, it does me well. It doesn't really slide. I would like a bigger complete desk mat in the future, but for right now, old reliable right here. <laughs> It gets the job done. So now moving over to the speakers on my display, I have this dual set of speakers and these are the Edifier R1280DB. These have been great speakers for me and what I love about them is that they are also Bluetooth. So I can hook up my laptop to them, my iPad, my phone. They sound great and they're powerful enough to fill up this whole dorm room if I wanted to. And what's also cool, if you like the look of it, you can actually take off these front panels and you can see the speakers themselves. So I will switch them off, take them off from time to time, just to kind of change up the look of this. But those are the speaker systems that I'm rocking with on my desk setup. On top of the speakers, I have my Alexa Dot right here. Um, this is the third generation version. I've had it for years now, and what I use it for pretty much is just to turn on my lights and everything. Ready? Alexa, turn off the vibes. And it'll turn off all the lights. Alexa, Turn on the vibes. <laughs> yeah, I did name the plug the vibes. I don't know. I thought it'd be kind of like a little cool, fun thing to do. So that is like my little assistant for my desk, if you could say. And then just on top of that, a little desk decoration are these Bucky balls that I've had forever. They're like little magnets. You can take them out, play with them. And they're like a little fun thing to use. And I kind of just like how it looks. And then over here on this side is a little DIY lava lamp I made with my residents this year. You just drop in an Alka-Seltzer tablet. It's pretty much just water, food coloring, and oil. And when you drop in the Alka-Seltzer tablet, it dissolves and it starts creating bubbles. So, you know, it's nothing great, but I do like the blue on it. So it kind of just sits clean with my desk setup. So now moving down right here, I have the Native Union Qi wireless charging pad. And this is like the non-slip version. It's got like a little textured coating on top of it. I pretty much just use this for my AirPods. I just plop them on after like a day of use and it starts charging. So that kind of just helps me like never forget to charge my AirPods and then they're never dead on me. It supports 10 watt charging, so it's definitely not the fastest in the world, but you know, just like what I use it for, it's plenty good for me. So moving over here, this right here is the Orsley Apple Watch charging stand. It was like 10 bucks on Amazon and all I do just every night when I go to charge my Apple Watch, plop it on right here and it kind of gives it like an alarm clock effect. Like your Apple Watch is sitting on it, if you tap on the desk, it feels that vibration and then it turns on the time so you can just see what time it is in the middle of the night, what time when you're laying down in bed. And I just wanted something that just wasn't the actual charging disc right here. Just something to like help my Apple Watch like sit up at night. Moving on, this is the Samsung fast charging wireless dock. I use this for my phone every night and it comes with an adaptive charging brick as well. So it says fast charge right on it, but honestly, it's not that fast, um, <laughs> it really isn't. If I'm ever just like sitting by my desk, I will plug in my iPhone with the cable as it's way quicker that way. I do know that wireless charging isn't as efficient as a cable, but I was hoping for a little bit quicker, but it's good enough for what it does. I just sit my iPhone on it every night. You can tell like there's some wear and tear on it. I don't know if that's from like heat generating when it's charging, but I've only had this for about three years now. So I do plan on upgrading this wireless charger eventually, but that is what I have right now. And then this right here is the O'Hill cable clip. I just use it to plug in these two cables. It came in a pack and there was a whole bunch of them from single cable clips to ones with four cable clips in it. I just use the two because that's all I need right here. One for my USB-C charger for my iPad, one for my lightning charger for my phone. And it just helps me keep my cables nice and organized and they're like never on the ground this way. So just a little quick thing and I really like it for my desk setup. So now moving over to the lighting of this desk setup, I have two of these RGB light strips, very generic Amazon ones, maybe around like 25 bucks, but they wrap all the way around the edge of my desk over here to this side as well. And I usually leave it on this orange color. It's kind of just like a chill vibe. So nothing too spectacular there, but it does like illuminate around the desk. 
kind of brightens it up and I do like those. And then behind my monitor right here, I have these Govee Smart LED light bars. Two of them came in a pack. Love these. They really just add a whole lot, especially like right behind my monitor. I love like the two color combo. And what's great about these is that there's an app involved in this as well, the Govee app. And there's so much customization you can do with it. You can customize each color individually, put it on two, put it on a fade, and there's a whole bunch of like pre-designed scenes you can put it on. And this really just helps brighten up my desk setup. And they're also a third of the price of the Philips Hue light bars. And they essentially do the exact same thing minus the Philips Hue software. So you can't go wrong with these, and I highly recommend getting the Govee Smart LED light bars. And then probably my newest and like one of my coolest features about my desk that I just got, uh, my older brother gifted me this for the holidays. These are the Nano Leaf Shapes Triangles, and they came in a seven pack. And there's just so many like cool different like fading things you can do with it. This right over here is the home of it and there's a power button brightness up and down you can randomly change the scene of this so when i press on it it'll go to a brand new scene and it'll change the color of it as well there's different ones where it's voice activated you can sync this up to music and i really like just the pattern that i chose with it you can set it up any way you want and so that is definitely just a huge addition to my desk setup <laughs> this one right here in the middle this is like the first one i put on um, it came with like these like sticky strips. I put like three all the way around and I don't think I'm gonna be able to get that one off after this year when I move out of my dorm. That one might be there forever. I'm gonna have to take this wall back home with me. And also one quick thing with these, if you're in like a college setting and you're on an enterprise Wi-Fi, these will give you a massive headache to connect. There's a way to like create its own hotspot using that little home pad over there, but I have not been able to reconnect to the app since then, and I just kind of cycle through the random now. It was a hassle to get them to work, so if you have these for home and like you're using your own Wi-Fi, there's gonna be no issue at all, but keep that in mind, enterprise Wi-Fis do not work well with this. That is my current desk setup, my first completed desk, and again, nothing great. I don't have a bunch of crazy tech for it, but I'm telling you, give it just a couple years, and I can see my desk setup being really cool. Um, I already have some ideas of some more things I want to get in the future, but just where I am right now in college in a dorm, that's the best I can do right now. So yeah, that's going to be it for this video. So if you like what you saw today, or if you saw some cool like little things you can add to your own desk setups, then don't forget to hit the like button down below and subscribe as I don't want you to miss anything else I have in the future. And with that being said, have a great day everyone and cheers.